In this video we'll use the UVW randomizer to deal with ugly texture tiling. For this we'll first explore the basic workflow and then modify a more complex material where we have to randomize multiple maps at the same time. So quite often you can end up in situations where you have a texture map that looks nice close up but once you apply this texture to a bigger area and you zoom back a little bit, you can notice some very ugly repetitions and this is called tiling. You can see we have the same pattern here repeating over and over again. In this video here, we will find some ways how we can easily fix that procedurally. And that's exactly what I enabled now. So you can see we have the same texture map, but we don't really have this kind of like very uniform repetitions anymore. We have a texture here broken up in lots of more interesting patterns. You can't really see any kind of clear repetitions. So this is called the UVW randomizer in V-Ray. We're gonna find out how this exactly works to achieve the same kind of result in here. So as always, you can find my scene files over on my Patreon if you want to repeat the same procedure here. And you can also find a whole course on car rendering and lots of other additional goodies. So check this out if that's interesting for you. Otherwise, let's just start with the tutorial and see how we can achieve a result like this in here. So instead of working on our finalized shader, let's first work here on this simple preview texture that you can see. And this has the same structure. So we have nine different stone tiles in here. And I just numbered them and gave them some random colors in here. So at the moment we can clearly see our tiling. You can see the number one with the red square, for example, is always repeating itself. But later on, when we have some randomizations on our different texture tiles, this will not be so visible anymore. In order to still see our original tiles, I have this simple 3ds Max tile texture map, which I will use to basically keep our tiles always visible. And for this, let's just add here a simple composite and put this into the layer one of our composite. And let's add a second layer and put this tile preview here as the second layer put this one to screen and then put this here into our diffuse slot. And you can see we have now this kind of white outline around each of our texture tiles. So now let's zoom in a little bit that we can see more clearly what's happening with our different tiles. And then let's apply our UVW randomizer. So for this, it's very important that you use a V-Ray bitmap and this is because we need to have access to this mapping source parameter and this is only available in the V-Ray bitmap. So now let's add here a V-Ray UVW randomizer and once this is piped into the mapping source you can see not really much is happening, basically nothing is really happening. That's because we first have to dial in some basic parameters in here. So now based on whatever you select up here you can randomize your UVs let's say for example, randomized by name. And that means that every of our geometries will have a slightly different rotation offset and so on applied to them. But you can see in this case, that's not really what we want because it's just doing that on the entire object. And we still have this super obvious repetition here going on, which we try to actually avoid. So instead of trying to use here any of those settings, we'll use this stochastic tiling mode and this enables us to have randomized appearance here for each of our different texture tiles in here. Let's go in our composite and hide our tile preview here temporarily because I want to show you that it even tries to blend these different tiles here now. You can see there's this blending happening here between each of the tiles and you can change this here by using the tile plan parameter. So if you increase this to a higher value, then the blending would become more spread out. And depending on the texture you use, this can be already enough to fill the whole surface with a texture that doesn't look like tiling. But for our texture here, this doesn't really work. We can still see that there's this pattern which is just randomly rotated. So we have to find some other way. So in our case, let's use the tile blend here of zero. So we don't have any blending happening. Now let's check what of the other options we have down here. But before we do that, let's once again enable our tile preview here. So the default values is that it's doing a U and V offset between zero and one for each of our texture tiles and also a UV rotation between zero and 360 degrees. So if we don't want anything to happen here, we can just put all of those values here to zero and we're back at our starting position. So let's start to play with the U offset by just increasing this value. And what you can see is that those tiles will start 
to shift in one direction only because we're only playing with the U offset for now. Let's put this to the maximum value of one. You can see that each of those tiles now has a random vertical offset. So this already is nice, but we have now the issue that some of our boxes are being cut because we don't really move them by certain steps. We move them gradually and that's why we have this step count. So in our case, we would need three steps. So let's put the value to three. And now you can see we don't really have this effect anymore that those boxes are cutting on the tile edges, but we have them always appear randomly, at least in the U position. So you can see all the red tiles are still in one line, but they are appearing here randomly in each of those tiles. So we can do the same thing for the V offset. So let's increase that also to a value of one. And now we have the same issue again. We would also need to increase the step count to three. And now you can see we have our red tiles, for example, appearing completely randomly in each of those little squares in here. If we want to, we can also randomly flip the U and the V direction. So you can see by checking the numbers that some of them are now mirrored completely. So this also helps to additionally randomize this here. What we can also do is to use the UV rotation. So let's rotate that from zero to 360 degrees. And now we have again the problem that we have these kind of random rotations, which we don't really need in our case. We want to have rotations which are happening in 90 degrees. So let's increase our step count here to a value of four because four times 90 equals 360. And now you can see we have a complete random pattern now. We have complete random U and V offset. We have the textures even flipped for each of those tiles. And we have a random UV rotation by also using the step parameters in here. So now we can easily just bypass our composite and then those white lines here disappear. And you can see we have this completely random pattern now that is showing up on our floor. You wouldn't be able to see any kind of repetitions in here now. So now instead of using this texture here, of course, let's go back to our original example. And we have this slightly more complex shader, which uses three different maps. So let's just apply this one on our ground plane. And it also uses displacement. So let me enable this V-Ray displacement mod. And let's also take this texture map here into our material editor. And now you can see we have this nicer looking floor texture, but we don't really have these kind of randomizations which are happening. So now we have to apply the same randomizations for each of those different texture maps. And that's luckily very easy. We have always the mapping source here exposed. We can just then drag our UV randomizer in each of those different nodes in here. And once we do this, you can see that now we have the same randomizations that we applied here for our tummy texture, also on our more complex shader. And those randomizations happen equally here on each of those different texture maps and also on the displacement modifier here itself. So additionally, to finish everything off, I have a chaos scatter object here in my scene and I use a mask in order to scatter my grass only in those gaps between those tiles. And the mask that I use is this one here. You can see it's quite simple. But even this one, I can apply here my UVW randomizer and this also updates accordingly. So I have one UVW randomizer that controls my diffuse, my normal, my glossiness map, and even my displacement and my grass generation map. And like this, you can generate quite complex looking surfaces by just using this one tiny piece of texture in here. You don't really see any kind of repetitions which are happening on this surface right now. So this concludes this tutorial. As usual, you can find the scene files on my Patreon together with a whole course on car rendering, lots of other additional goodies. You can check this out if that's interesting for you. Otherwise, see you next tutorial. Take care and see you soon.